Hello again guys, and today we're going to be covering Tower of Guns. Tower of Guns is a fast-paced, nostalgic shooter for the Twitch gamer, with a few roguelike elements to keep it fresh with each playthrough. Um, from what the developer says, it's basically like FTL or Binding of Isaac mixed with Doom 2 or Quake. Uh, it's also similar in a lot of ways to Paranautical Activity, but Paranautical Activity is a lot more like Binding of Isaac than Quake. Let's just play. <laughs> um, this is from the pre 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 alpha build. It's from what the developer says about 20% complete. So it's in no way done at all ever. But you can actually purchase and access this yourself. Um, it's a $5 pre-order and if you pre-order now it'll give you access to the developer build which is what I'm playing. Um, all future builds and also if it does release on Steam which you can vote for it on Steam Greenlight which I'll put the link below. Uh, you will also get a Steam key so for five bucks if you are at all interested in this game definitely go check it out. Um, let's see what my collection. Yeah, I have one. I've only I've only played a little bit, but I don't get very far. As you see, I've unlocked this gun, the Consolation Charger, rewarded all styles of play. Uh, you basically have to die a few times to get that one. Um, it's also got the peas and carrots pistol. Uh, yeah, choose a better gun. Um, portable pizza thrower, loaded with saw blades, not pizzas. This is kind of like the disc launcher from Tribes, but not. Yeah, everything is not mm, balanced completely yet, so uh, there are definitely some things that I think will probably be changed from the build I'm playing now. I really enjoy like the, the art style, the soundtrack, the everything about the game. It just, the balance is kind of frustrating for me. Um, I'm not sure if it's intended to be... I mean, I know it's intended to be hard. You're supposed to die, but I'm not sure if it's intended to be quite so hard. Let's just go with um hmm double jump or junk man. I like that there's like these um unlockable skills like this one here find four health upgrades in a life and you'll unlock a new perk and for like the guns uh, complete a stage under par time. It's got a par like golf both time. Uh, to unlock this gun complete a stage without taking damage find 100% of the secrets in the level. Actually, that's something I really enjoy too. There's secrets in each of the levels, but you can only get to them if you have specific skills or perks. So well, let's just, I'll give it a go and then I'll describe the game in a little bit more detail. <laughs> Repairing hug bots. I always love these when they have random stuff that says there when it's loading. Okay, so we start off here and already this should be kind of blowing you away. This is pretty sexy. And each time it seems there's a different guy that gives you an intro. This time we got the butler. Huh, this game is a butler? Only the best for you, my dear pre-orderer. So, as you can see, I was collecting some little coins there. That goes up in the top left-hand corner. Um, on the top right-hand corner, you have item equips. Uh, the little orange glowy thing in the top right, I think, denotes if I have any extra jumps. Yeah, so I have double jump. Um, you can actually stack those as well on the right. On the bottom there, that's level 1, uh, your weapon actually can level up. The more I enemies you kill without taking damage, the, the higher your weapon levels, basically. Uh, and you also get weapon mods, and on the bottom left, obviously, my health, which, once again, can also be modded. These are hug bots. They're kind of spazzy. I don't know if they're actually... Yeah, they just want a hug. Hey, 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 no hugs for you. No hugs for you ever. They explode, I got health, uh, that's for weapon leveling. Hey, hey, no hugs, no hugs. And there's money. So there's three basic drops you get, and I think the size correlates to the amount, which is very intuitive and just very slick. I like it. Yeah, see like there, that's more, more health, bigger coins. Um, yeah, as you say, there is a par for levels, but I don't know. I don't see it on screen right now. I don't know if it's actually shown on screen on these early levels. So here, I don't know if I can get up. I think I might need like triple jump or something to get up here. But yeah, any any area like this where you can see an area, um, you can get up there. There's no invisible walls. It's one of the... Oh, I might even be able to get up there. Who knows? Yeah, so I shoot the doors to open them. As you say, I never understand video game logic. Oh. Shoot doors, they open. 
So that's the first room. The first room, at least in the demo so far, is always relatively easy. Second room... Oh, hi. Things... Yeah, I don't... I don't like these things. Ah! They explode! <laughs> in my face! And, uh, the saw blade ones. No, 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 no. No, no, don't explode on me. I'm trying to show the saw blade ones, but I, I guess he got exploded. Picking up all of the things. Um, yeah, lava. Circle strafed into lava one time, so definitely watch out for lava. There's another kind of secret. If you can get over there, you can get those, but I, I cannot. And yeah, as I say, um, the more damage you take, you actually lose uh, part of your, your weapon levels. Are these things? Yeah, they're things I can explode. You lose part of your, your weapon levels. So you want to level up your weapon to help you survive longer, but, you know, if you take more damage... You know, doesn't help you. No secrets up here I can get to. Stop! Get away from me! Pretty much everything explodes from what I can tell. Explodes or has spikes on it, basically. Uh, blue gems upgrade your weapon. Okay, and I don't like all these cannon things. Not a fan. Okay, got those ones. Eh, there's more cannons. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't touch me. Seriously. Oh, more cannons up there. Ooh, did get a few coins. We'll see if we run into um, a purchasable item. I actually really like the way they have kind of... Um kind of implemented like an item shop system in so you can only get it if you have this certain amount of money but it's not you know it's not obtrusive it really kind of works in with the gameplay and I guess do I have to get on these will they bring me up or will they kill me always good when you think something may or may not kill you oh okay let's go in this far corner here yeah thank you please don't kill me all right, and explosive things are everywhere. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, there's fall damage, P.S. Okay, ouch. That even sounded like an old school game, fall damage sound. Okay, let's go back up there and not get knocked off again. Yeah, let's just go. No, no, we don't want to go in there. Oh, we want to go over there. Holy jeez, there's a lot of these guys. Take out some of these cannons that are shooting millions of things at me. See if we don't die. How am I, why am I stuck here? Oh, I'm stuck in this little corner. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, no. Okay. I don't want to go in there yet. Okay, how do we get over there without dying? We'll wait until these ones come back up again. And run across. There we go. So yeah, here's the kind of item system. You only need 16 coins to get it. So let's just get it. Rapid gun mod. All right. So now I have a rapid gun mod. Seems there's... Oh, okay. There's an alternate route. You could have gone up that way. Uh, is there anything secret hidden over there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. See, this is where things get bad. This is where I'm going to die. Because oh god why? Seriously. Literally. Oh god why? I'm just gonna die. Oh man. I hate the saw blades. The giant saw blade things. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. And there should be some little dudes coming around anytime soon. Little mini flying saw blades. I guess I'll just shoot this guy until they... Oh hey, here we go. Here we go. Ah! Get out of here. They have little spikes and they explode when you shoot them. Yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Suffice to say, I've never actually completed the game yet. <laughs> but that gives you kind of an idea. As it says, uh, thanks for playing. Full game coming soon. Uh, and here, this is kind of the list of things I was going to lead out to you. Read out to you. Uh, so, old school Twitch gameplay. Very, like, Doom Quake-esque. Uh, single sitting experience. It's roguelike-like in the way that there is permadeath. Um... And you can just play through, die, and be done, and just have fun, you know, short gameplay sessions like that. Uh, fresh experience every run, once again with the roguelike like, a lot of randomization. Uh, six stages of mayhem, ten weapons so far, insane bosses, uh, yeah. Random level composition, once again with the roguelike like, tons of power-ups, gun mods and items, boatloads of secrets and unlockables, and tons of replayability. So, I mean, as you can see, You'll understand why I like it, because right now I'm I'm really addicted to roguelike likes, especially ones that have 
Um, just so much randomization, but also the ability to kind of power up your character and unlock things that will make it so you can actually survive longer, like Rogue Legacy. So I'm really interested in this game. I can't wait to play more of it as it continues to get developed. Like I say, it's only about 20% complete. So for a game that's 20% complete, um, yeah, that has a lot of promise. Um, like I say, my biggest problem is with the difficulty and, uh, like, for, for example, for me, the, the jump just seems so infinitesimal. It doesn't do anything. You know, it says in here that you should be, like, bunny hopping and rocket jumping, but it's like, I can't bunny hop with this little teeny little, little, little jump. I can't do anything. You know, and same uh, with the shooting, all of the, the rate of fire on all the guns. Seems a little bit difficult considering the number of enemies in the room and um, like running. I, yeah, is there running in the game? I don't know. I haven't found running yet. So for me, the balance is a little ridiculous. I'm sure if you're better at this game, you'll probably be like, Fedrin, you just suck at this game. It's amazing. But yeah, so I, I love this game conceptually, love the soundtrack love the the art style and the the items and just everything about it not currently able to actually play very far into the game but uh maybe a little bit farther into development we'll be seeing a win condition series on here because i really do like it i really would like to play more of this game so anyways this has been tower of guns like i said you can pre-order it for five bucks and try it yourself right now and still get the full version and a steam key if it does get on steam so huge deal. Definitely check it out. Links below. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.